so yesterday yesterday we did talk about we did talk about a basic claim which has been made by and still people are making um Muslim claim regarding the preservation of the Quran. We talked about how Muslims are stating there is only one Quran perfectly preserved because Allah says so. That's Surah 15 verse 9. And and then another comma, um, another claim from Muslims was regarding uh, how uh, all the dots of the Quran have all letters have all everything in the quran dot by dot letter by letter sound by sound word by word quran is exactly the same which part of the world you go and uh, we did brought up a couple of quran's to speakers corner where muslims can see they are named differently and they are written differently uh, muslims simply turn to us no they are exactly the same they are exactly the same but miracle happens, miracle happens even for the Muslims. As the miracle happens for the Muslims, uh, Muslims put together this lovely book. Okay, so this is the PDF version of the book. Like, we all need to say a huge thank you to <laughs> Hakiyavach for, I don't know how he find it, but PDF version is there. That's good because... The physical um, copy I I got it and I studied wasn't very wasn't a uh, very good quality so it's already like fallen apart but so this is the book was put together by a Muslims in the intention in the intention muslims wanted to tell whole world that there are minimum 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 10 different arabic qurans and of course when we look at the book what we are going to see is uh we will see actually they are giving us name of the 30 different arabic qurans and today we are just gonna go through them and then show what muslims are saying so please don't accuse me um, of lying or anything. All I'm going to do is with my very, very bad broken English, I'm just going to read it to you and I'm just going to show it to you. Um, it should all be fun and hopefully this time you will be able to follow up a little bit better because now you can see them bigger. Uh, yesterday I was showing them uh, with my training camera uh, with that one of course uh, writings of the book is smaller so you didn't see them well and because I use that for different purposes so it is practically difficult to um, kind of set up anyway so uh, let me just get you the basics so that we all follow up uh, Muslims would tell us they are supposed to be telling us from now on that actually when Muhammad died, we did he did not left a Quran behind. Okay, this will be the Quran. From Surah 1 to Surah 114 starts from Fatiha to Surah Nas. Um or any other version of the Quran. He did not leave anything behind, of course. Please, please. Don't think that was because Muhammad couldn't read and write and Muhammad didn't even bother about the word of Allah. Or please, please don't think because Aisha was having this boxing match with a goat, with a sheep to rescue the word of Allah. Or early Sahabas were fighting with one another, which supposed to be in the Quran or what Allah revealed. Um, all we know is because the revelation was still continuum, Muhammad didn't even bother to compile as the revelation came. So Muhammad dies in 632. Before he dies, we looked at uh, yesterday that um, Umar, second caliph of Islam, father-in-law of Muhammad, expresses um, his concern regarding Hisham. 
uh, Hisham is reciting Surah 25 differently. Umar wants to go and grab him. Like that's very bad recitation, very different recitation. Both of them goes to Muhammad and then Muhammad simply says, actually, guys, I know I didn't tell you before because I was just so busy with my wives. Quran is revealed in seven different ways. What is the reason for that? Because my ummah, Muslim community is old. They are old men, old women. They can't read and write. They are just like not uh, in the IQ level. They are not very good. Therefore, I ask Allah to make it easy for my ummah. Therefore, Allah Gabriel, um, Gabriel give it to me in seven different ways. By that stage, no one heard about this, okay? And then we've got another story where we see, we've got another story where we see actually uh, Ubay bin Kaab, whom Muhammad says, uh, take the Quran from. I love this guy, whoever you are, thank you for posting this for me. Um, um, we've got this um, conversation takes place between Ubay bin Kaab and Muhammad where Ubay bin Kaab sees, hears that um, a Muslim is reciting the Quran different than what uh, Muhammad taught to Ubay bin Kaab yet Uba, uh, Muhammad says okay to both of the uh, both of the uh, recitation and then expresses that Quran is revealed in seven different ways of course from that what we have is Umar um, struck um, struck uh, Ubay Muhammad struck uh, Ubay bin Kaab in his chest which makes Ubay bin Kaab to sweat that doesn't look like like oh let's have a uh, let's have a um, hot chocolate or coffee or anything so um, of course Ubay bin Kaab says I never doubted he didn't even have doubt that much doubt before the Islam in the time of Jahiliya when everyone was like no education or they didn't know the basics so what we see is uh, uh, Muhammad tells Allah according to Muhammad of course there is no second person ever heard Gabriel spoke to Muhammad and then said oh I'm gonna make it to you on seven different ways. There is no second person. There is no third person. When that conversation took place. Of course, there is no second or third person giving us the testimony that once a year when, during Ramadan especially, when Muhammad was reciting Quran to Gabriel, no one is testifying for us. Yeah, he gave him the seven different ways. But we don't know. So something goes wrong along the way. Muhammad got poisoned by a Jew woman. And he had to say goodbye to goodbye to life. Uh, from that, uh, uh, Abu Bakr steps in and then compiles the first Quran because 70 people die in the battle of Yamama. They are going to they are going to dis, uh, lose the Quran. First Quran is being compiled under Abu Bakr and then Uthman steps in. Remember, yesterday we read it. Uthman steps in and then um, people start within like 20, 30, 20 years from 600 to 50, 600, 632 to 650s Muslims start calling one another kafir disbelievers why because the way that quran has been recited so far oral tradition has been failed therefore there is a reason to compile the quran third quran second quran is being compiled under the uthman because people called one another kafir and as uthman did that what happened Uthman ordered everything to be burned. And then Uthman compiled that 
which Quran which was revealed to Muhammad in seven different ways, Uthman made it to one way, according to Islamic traditions. So we got rid of those seven different Qurans. And then, and then of course we do have this story of lovely ship, and then testimony of Muslims are saying, yeah, we lost the Quran, Quran is gone, we can't do much about it, blah, blah. That goes on. Uh, it comes around 1924. 10th of July 1924, we get to hear that, oh, there is a problem with the Quran. There is a problem with the Quran. What are we going to do? We are going to, from now on, we are going to use, we are going to uh, officialize Hafs Quran. And then, end of 1924, uh, adjustments are made to the again the half Quran and then that's been published 1936 that Quran become the official for Egypt and Quran end up in where in the river first Quran is being burned that first Quran I'm sorry um, Uthman burns the Quran Hajjaj actually destroys the Quran, I forget that part, but, and then in 1900s, Quran got sunk in the river, and Allah is apparently going to guard the Quran, I am assuming Allah is just under the river, currently just trying to um, guide, guard the Qurans as they are being sunk, and you can get to do that in where? In Egypt so from that without any shame still we do have Muslims who are telling us there is only one perfect Quran dot by dot letter by letter sound by sound they are exactly the same uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be gentle and just read the Islamic sources but before that um, Sydney we are going to reply to the first question today and then second question probably gonna be replied at speakers corner because I've got some materials first I will be sharing them at speakers corner and then we can put them um, discuss them in the live stream I forgot what I said last, but so today we are going to simply look at the um, Muslims and as they tell us about different Arabic Qurans. Essentials for us to remember we, today, according to Muslim scholar, uh, I don't know if you can see it, Yasil Kadri, uh, we don't even know what is Ahruf. Okay, that is like seven Ahruf Quran has been revealed to Muhammad. That's like when he doesn't remember what he said to the people, he just makes it up. Um, and then, according to Islamic tradition, in 1900s there are there were 50 different Arabic Qurans were circulating around. Okay, in 1900s, I do have them all in a list in different. Um, different format we are not gonna focus on that one we will be focusing on what Muslims are saying to us today so okay remember this is the book I'm looking at it actually I don't need to show you from this because I've got the PDF of it okay where is the PDF okay uh, Muslim monotheist, uh, who do you think you are telling me our visitation? According to whom? Not according to your Muslim scholars. Not, Allah doesn't even talk about our roof. According to whom our visitation? Please give us the references and then tell us what happened to those our roof, seven our roofs, or according to your seven recitations, which simply revealed to Muhammad and caused Ubay bin Kaab to doubt his faith and caused Umar 
to jump over someone joining the prayer. So this is the book which was put together by Muslims and it's simply gonna tell us when Muslims are telling you Quran is dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, word by word exactly the same. This book is gonna step in and then say no that's not true. Okay it's not I'm saying that I know that's not true but Muslims are gonna say those things to other Muslims. Okay any questions so far any comments so far Phil thank you for posting the link to the PDF of the book. Uh, hopefully I will copy that link at the end and then put them in the description. So I can simply go where I left yesterday because what I did was uh, actually, uh, actually I, 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 I think there, there will be probably more than 900 crumbs. Um, um, I, I don't I don't know but the ones I looked at like I looked at more than 50 different Arabic crowns which was existed in 900s. So uh, I'm just moving those things are quicker because it just tells us yes there are the difference and please note that only 30% of those differences Thirty percent of those differences end up in this book. So this book is put. Oh come on! Let me just show you the format of the book. So uh, you do have on one side you have the So I need to put this here so that I can see the comments are moving forward. I apologize for that. So um, on one side you can see Quran in Arabic form. And on the next to it you can see the English version, English translation of it. So purpose of the, this book is to tell the humanity actually in Arabic written version of the verse is different. Written version of the word is different. T uh, pronunciation is different. Sound is different. Letters are different. And then, of course, meaning is different. Let me show you how the meaning changes. And then he puts on the um, your right-hand side uh, English translation. And then he identifies for us in English translation. Yes. This is the translation of it different. Okay? Arabic is different and English is different. That's the point um, author of the book is making. It's very simple. None of you needs to be Einstein. And then, of course, as you go to the footnotes, a uh, Muslim is going to tell you what are the differences and in which Qurans. But before we move there, Let's go and then do a little bit basic so that you all know actually how those um, different Arabic Qurans end up into the world. Okay. So here's the 10 different Arabic Qurans. Muslim is expressing that he's looking for it. First one. So what I have done was... Um, Muslim already put the names there. All I did was just put the dates so that we can all see uh, how many of those ten so-called ten different Arabic Qurans has anything to do with Muhammad. Okay, um, I am afraid it's gonna be teamwork. I will be asking you to please, please tell me if this takes you back to Muhammad, Abu Bakr, or Uthman. Okay, I'm sure we can do that as a teamwork. Teamwork is good exercise. And it helps you to work on your compromise skills. I am not very good at it, but... Surah Fatiha. 
is your favorite verse? Surah Fatiha is Allah's eternal prayer answered in the Quran. Allah is asking for guidance, and uh, but that's that's another topic. There are lots of another topic. Um, <laughs> so on the on the one side where it says imams, what we will be seeing is those are the ten main different Qurans. Okay. And then on the uh, other column where it says his narrators, those are the subtitle Qurans. I don't know what is the word I've got to use for that, but um, it is, um, sorry, I put the reds on it. Please, please beware. Those numbers are not in the book. So I just edit them to make it easy, your make your life is easy. Um, so, Quran number one, please follow with me, is man called Nafis Quran, okay? Quran number one is Nafis Quran. This guy is in Medina and apparently he preached in Muhammad's mosque for four years, okay? And his date is 785. Nafi's date is 785. Last time when I checked, Muhammad was already long dead by 785. Last time when I checked, Muhammad was dead in 632. Can someone help me to figure out how this Nafi guy got the crown from Muhammad? Did Muhammad ever so his Quran. Any possibility? No. Muhammad never saw his Quran. Okay. Muhammad was already long dead. What about Abu Bakr? Nope. What about Uthman? No. None of none of those people who were kind of responsible to put the Quran together saw the Quran with Nafi put together. Second Quran is identified as Ibn Katir's Quran. Date for this is 737. Hmm. Of course, the one of the amazing thing is we don't have those people's biography from those dates, by the way. Just, that's just side information, but I am assuming you are already aware of that and I don't need to verbalize that. That's like basic, okay? We don't have anyone's biography from 7th century. Um, especially like Sahaba is, they were like literally nobodies um, in those times. But today they are somebodies. Ibn Katir's Quran. This is not the Tafsir Ibn Katir, okay? This is Ibn Katir's Quran. He died in 737. Muhammad never saw his Quran. Muhammad never said okay to this guy's Quran. Abu Amir in Basra, his date is 707, 770, Muhammad was long and long dead. Muhammad died in 632. Ibn Amir al-Sham, 736, over 100 years after the death of Muhammad. Anyway, so these numbers like goes like those ten people in here, and the youngest one, kind of earliest one, is seven thirty seven in Mecca, and the latest one is eight hundred forty three. Look at those dates. Those dates has nothing to do with Muhammad. Muhammad never saw those so called ten big Qurans. I'm calling them Qurans because they are different Qurans, okay? He never saw them. Uthman never saw them. Abu Bakr never saw them. So let me move it a little bit higher. So I don't know how to get rid of that logo. Logo makes it for you to not be able to see it. But anyway, now it should be okay. 
So those dates are much, very much late when you compare the revelation of the Quran and completion of the Quran. Okay? Of course, look at the locations. They are written by different people, by different locations, and they are different from one another. Miracle of Islam. That is miracle of Islam. Another miracle of Islam, while, while, man called Nafi, 785, has, um, have two students, okay? His two students, one of them is Kalun, other one is Borsh. Kalun, and Vosh. Apparently, they are students of Nafi. Okay? Kalun, dates are, he was born 737, died 835. And then Vosh died in 812. Okay? So Nafi dies in 785. Walsh dies in 812. There are like over 20 years, maybe 30 years between them. Miracle is, while both of them are the students of Nafi, both students have different Quran from one another. Yet they've got one teacher, but two different Qurans. Therefore, just from the first line, the reason, the reason I say they are um, two different Qurans because I've got those two Qurans and they are different from one another when you look at them. And then, of course, we will be looking at the, this uh, book. It's going to show us, yes, they are different as well. So, just in the first line, we've had already three Qurans. One teacher, two students, and they are... Um, their, um, what it is, the Qur students' Quran is different than their teacher's Quran, and students' Quran is different from one another. Second Quran is Ibn Kathir's Quran of Mecca. This guy again to, has two students. Miracle is, look at the dates of his students. I don't want to be mean. Seriously, I don't want to be mean. But I really need help in here. So, Ibn Kathir dies in 737. And his student is born when? 810. And then his student died in 904. His, his student was born eight years after eight years after his teacher dead. I think it's just like miracle, don't you think? Do you not think it's a miracle? Like there is like unbroken chain. There is an unbroken chain. But person is born approximate approximate 30 uh, approximate yeah eight years after eight years after the dead teacher I'm just checking the date to make sure like I got the I didn't do any typo over there yeah and Bazi is 200. And then 291 for the Kumbul. That's just a miracle. Like you can't even imagine how this beautiful miracle takes place. So anyway, main point is, main point is, Muhammad never saw Ibn Kathir's Quran. Muhammad never saw Al-Bazi's Quran. Muhammad never saw Kumbul's Quran. Because Muhammad was long, long dead by those Qurans came up. Attention to the dates. Dates are important. Dates are important in this one. Um, and then, so, 
again, we've got one teacher, and this teacher has two students, okay? And teachers, sorry, students' work is different from one another. They are learning from the same teacher, but they've got different Qurans. How do we know that? Because we've got the physical Qurans, and this book is going to make proof to us that their Quran is different. So second line already gives us the sixth Quran. Okay? Let's move on. The, anyone is not following. I thought Muhammad was born four years after um, death of his father. But yeah, anyway. Uh, now when it, when it comes to the numbers, like, we, we cannot expect much. Please, please don't get discouraged. We cannot expect much. Allah doesn't know much. If Allah knew much, he would arrange the uh, inheritance tax, all those kind of things. Inheritance. Uh, Muhammad couldn't read and write. So what do you expect from, from Muslims? Not much. They're, they're going to deal with those uh, dates. So, third Quran so, um, on the line is Abu Amir of Basra. His date is 770. By this stage, none of you needs to be Einstein because Muhammad never seen his Quran. Abu Bakr never seen his Quran. Uthman never seen his Quran. Because why? They were long, long, long dead. Of course, woman can be pregnant for uh, uh, 10 years. Mary was pregnant for how long? She gave birth to um, Islamic Jesus when she was like 1,400 years old, old um, virgin. So, third Quran by uh, Abu Amir has two students. One of them is Hafs. We all know Hafs. And then second one is Susi. So teacher dies in 770. Student Hafs is born when? 767. Actually, uh, let me check that date. I thought it was... Let me check that date. That date might be my typo. That would be really, really awful if that is the case. Hafs is born uh, 195. Okay, yeah, I think that's my typo. That is really bad, but it's my typo mistake. So, uh, dates for halves is 100, not, actually, let me just exactly tell you the, what is the date for that. We go to calculator. Actually, dates are not wrong. Nope, dates are not wrong. Those dates are correct. So, teacher dies. Uh, sorry, teacher dies when the student is three years old. Within three years. Within three years, of course. Halves took everything. When he was halves, when halves was three years old. Seems to me that he took everything very well from Muhammad. He was only three years. Memorized the whole Quran and then put it together from his teacher. When he was, he turned to the tree, his teacher died. That's just a miracle. Don't you think so? And then, of course, Suicide dies in 874 and... 
Muhammed died in 632. See the dates. Over 200 years. Gap. Between the kind of which Quran Muslims are uh, attributing to him. So third line gives us our ninth Quran. Let's go them again. First one is Nafi. Nafi has two students. His Qurans are different from one another. That makes three. Second line. Ibn, Ka Ibn Kathir. He's got two students. His Qurans are different from one another. And then we've got the teacher. That makes six Quran. Number three is um, Abu Amir. He's got two students. And then from that we, we end up having ninth Quran. So one teacher has two students and two students um, Quran is different from one another and then their Quran of course that makes their Quran different from their teacher it all end up having one line means three Qurans that's the basic maths fourth one is look at the dates look at those dates Ibn Amir's Quran from Sham we've got Hisham's Quran and we've got Ibn Zagwan. Look at the dates. They are very, like, it's amazing. So, teacher dies in 736. Student is born 798. Sorry, 89. Unbroken chain. Probably that was like student of student of student, but miracle of Islam. They are still identified as unbroken chains uh, so third line gives us um, three different Qurans because teacher's Quran is different from the student and student's Quran is different from one another that all together makes three times four twelve line five line five actually this is I'm very interested in, even though I have 37 Quran but I don't have the one of the Quran. Um, I don't have the one of the Quran in one of the Quran in number five actually. So number five, we've got Asim ibn Amir. This is the guy. Okay, where today's half Quran comes from. Okay. So he dies in 778 and Hafs takes the Quran from him. This is the Quran which, which kind of end up in the river. This is the Quran uh, which Hafs put together where Muslims identify him as a lion, where Muslims identify him as a uh, stealer, like he takes things and never returns them. So that this is the Quran which Muslims are... Oh, sorry, not that one. Sorry, not this one. This is the one which Muslims are reciting today, okay? So this is the one we are hoping that the right recitation, because it is the one going to intercede for Muslims on the Day of Judgment. If it is not right, then it's all messed up. So look at the dates. Late 700s, 796. Did Muhammad ever saw Hafs Quran? Did Uthman ever saw Hafs Quran? No. In 1924, 1936, and 1980s, anyone saw this man called Hafs who has been identified as a liar? No. But that is the Quran where Muslims put their return it on. So, in line 5, we've got again three different Qurans. And they are, so students' Quran is different than the teachers' Quran. Students are disagreeing with one another what it has to be. We will be seeing the examples for that. So we that was already num Quran number 15. Those anyone who any of you is counting. And uh, number six is Khalaf's Quran. Look at the date 843. And then he's got uh, two students that are identified as Idris um, Al Haddad and Isaac Al Warak. Just ignore my Arabic pronunciation. I can't even pronounce English. 
Anyway, so look at the dates, beginning of 900s, late 800s. Those are the dates. Those are the dates of the Quran. New Qurans are new Qurans are still circulating around in 900s or being put together in 900s. So we are we just finished number line line six that made how many 18 different Qurans so far. Uh, line number seven. Yakub's Quran. He's got again two students, Ruh and Ruwais. Their Quran is different from one another and different from the teacher. Uh, and look at the dates, mid 800s. Muhammad didn't see this. Abu Bakr didn't see this. Umar didn't see this. Uthman didn't see this. While oral tradition was screaming out for help, Muslims put together another new Quran that makes our number. Quran number 21 already. Quran number 8, line number 8, Abu Jafar's Quran. Look at the dates. Look at the dates. Uh, 747, 777, 789. Ibn Wardans and Ibn Gamma's Quran. Um, Akin, if you are if you are based in in Uskidar, there is a bookshop. When you go to the uh, Ilahet Faculty, you can get um, Borsh Quran and Kalun Quran from there if you want to do so. Uh, so Quran number nine. Sorry, we did yes, we did number eight. So with the line number eight, we had how many Qurans? 21. Oh, actually, no, 24. Line number 9, Alik Sai's Quran. Look at the dates, beginning of 800s and late 800s. He's got two students. Students disagree with one another. It's all the same story, okay? Always, stu two students are um, not agreeing what's supposed to be in the Quran. What's supposed to be in the Quran? Their Quran is different from one another. Of course, what is the teacher put together? What is this variable oral tradition taught people? And that was, of course, makes it number 27. Uh, line number 10 is the Hamza al-Kufi's Quran. Look at the date, late 700s. And his students have uh, mid 800s. Again, there are the different Qurans from one another. That all together makes 30 different Qurans by Muslims. Muslims are telling to humanity, here is the different Arabic Qurans for you. Uh, just let me bring attention to you. There are lots of lots of debates, discussion taking place in um, 900s, 1000s, even goes until 1400s. Uh, which Qurans we should officialize and make it known widely, okay? Just be aware of that. So, as uh, this book to puts together 30 different Arabic Qurans, some people will agree, actually, it's supposed to be 21, okay? Or some people would agree, actually, no, it's supposed to be uh, 14 times 3. So, this is the small summary of it let me bring once again your attention to the line number five this is the half quran which muslims are reciting look at the dates late 700s it has nothing nothing and nothing to do with man called muhammad it has nothing and nothing and nothing to do with a uh, man called umar abu bakr just be aware of that. And even Uthman. So with that in mind, remember the purpose of this book. 
purpose of this book is just Muslim is telling other Muslims. Yes, there are different Arabic Qurans out there. Here is the name of 30 different Arabic Qurans. And they are written in Arabic very, very differently. Uh, they pronounce differently in Arabic. Dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, word by word. It's just false information. What he does is, actually, I'm going to give you the Arabic version. And then also, I want to show people that there is... Uh, uh, those are different Arabics are changing the meaning in English and therefore that's what he's done let me just go to the page one and look at a couple of examples for everyone to see and now um, I noticed that Phil put the link to the um, chat so now you have the PDF therefore uh, I'll just show you how to use it and None of you needs to be Einstein. Like seriously, you don't need to be Einstein. What a shame! Why I didn't want to put this in. I thought I highlighted it, but it seems I didn't save it. Anyway, we can work here together as a team. Where everyone practice their compromise skills. So, on one side we get to see Arabic. Actually, I'm gonna take my picture off from here. Therefore, I won't be able to see the uh, comments you are putting there. Okay. Uh, so, on the one side you've got the Arabic. And then on the next side, you've got the English translation. When the author puts the red color in English translation, you go down to the end of the page. Oh, sorry. Uh, how can this... Okay, I sorry. When author puts the red over here, all you've got to do is you just... In the PDF, it's color. It's In the book, it's not... There is no color code. You go down and you see author is going to tell you he is the different versions of this word when it is being translated. Here is in which Qurans. All except, okay, there are there were third list of 30 Qurans, except Al, um, Asim al Qasa, Yaqub, and Kaf Quran. Okay, but the rest of is. Instead of being master, it is the word is king. Okay? And then let's look at the another one. On here, it is identified as yet they deceive. None but themselves. And then author is saying the word deceive is different in different Arabic Qurans. And then you come here and then you want to see what it says. It says in Nafi's Quran, Ibn Katir's Quran, and Abu Amir's Quran, it is yet they try to deceive. It's not they, are, they deceive, but they try to deceive. Muslim thinks that's a big difference, therefore he wants to put it there. Um can I just gently ask why my name is like going through in the chat with like different language? Uh, that's not a big deal, but it's good to kind of keep the chat in English if that's okay. And then look at another example in here. How they used to lie. How they used to lie. Okay. And then it says in Nafi's Quran, Ibn Katir's Quran, Abu Amir's Quran, Ibn Amir's Quran, Abu Jafar's Quran, and Yaqub's Quran. How many Quran there are already? Lots of. They used to deceive. What is the difference between lying and deceiving? One of them is they simply they used to lie. In other one is sorry disbelieve. Sorry. 
and other one is they used to disbelieve. The word is how they used to lie, and in one, two, three, four, five, six Qurans, actually they used to disbelieve. There are two different words. It's not actually that big deal. It is big deal when Muslim simply says dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, it's exactly the same. Yet six Quran one, two, three, four, five, six different Arabic Qurans contains this sorry contains this word as they used to disbelieve. You can lie. People used to lie versus they used to disbelieve. Even English speakers now don't need to be Einstein. They can know they are too different. Too different. Let's move to the another one. Come to the page three. It's only page three now. We already saw like approximately 10 different Arabic Qurans has the textual variations. So the word is already um, red color for you. You are returned. You are returned then to him you are returned and then it says in Yaqub's Quran to him you return in one of them is you are returned it's been done like by someone else probably in other one is you return I do return I don't know what is the English technical term for that one of them is passive or one of them is active something like this like in one of them action is done by someone else in other one is action is done by the person individual let's look at this one this was like funny one okay so the, we are we are just looking at in surah 2 we haven't moved anywhere okay just like this is only page 3 4 yet satan made them sleep satan make them sleep it's in the hafs quran and then author tells you if you read the hafs hamza's quran okay in hamza's quran what it says is yet satan remove them therefrom Satan made them sleep? Satan caused them to sin? Or Satan removed them? I love those miracles of Islam. Dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, word by word, it's exactly the same. Even though when you come to the English translation, letter by letter, dot by dot, sound by sound, it's exactly the same so much same it is so much same even Muslims are saying it does change the meaning even in English it's already changing the meaning in Arabic but even in English okay and then all you can go and check them so I just thought um, I just showed you uh, how you can kind of figure them out it's very easy if you've got the PDF um, once again, thank you very much to Takia Watch for putting the PDF because I was just simply doing these things from um, from the book. Let's look at this one. We are in still Surah 2. This is verse 80, 58. We will forgive you your offenses. Your offenses will be forgiven. And then, of course, on top of here, we appointed with Moses 40 nights, or we appointed for Moses. And then it goes on. So, at the, at, in every foot, 
note it tells you which Quran is different and in every kind of very well colored just tells you what is the difference I think that's just amazing therefore I think uh, let me okay let's look at this one and then we will stop we are in still surah 2 surah 2 is very long remember surah 2 verse 83 children of Israel you shall worship none but Allah okay you shall worship none but Allah but Ibn Kathir Hamza and al Qasai's Quran three different Qurans in here says they shall worship you shall and they shall are two different things as it is in Arabic also it is in English I think with that kind of all all I wanted to do tonight is be extra kind good Christian and help Muslims out with their communication skills and also advertise the PDF version of the book uh, so you can get access and use it and I just wanted to show you how you can use it just print the page um, or just put on your phone and then show it to your Muslims so now let's keep eye on the chat and see what's happening oh Rob Christian admin will our sister okay I can turn on Skype if you want because I did reject you other day and I know people commit suicide from rejections let me put the Skype on uh, uh, Skype is on um, Rob Christian if you wanna call in please free to do so uh, while there is a possibility that we might get a call let me see what the lovely Muslims how lovely Muslims are thanking me for simply just helping them to advertise Muslim books remember basic line is dot by dot letter by letter sound by sound word by word Quran is exactly the same and Muslims are simply telling us actually no he's the example from the 10 different Arabic Qurans letter by letter dot by dot word by word sound by sound it's different and it does change the meaning he is the my evidence from English translated to English that's what he's simply saying hello hello dear sister how are you god bless you uh, peace of christ be with you brother we've got rob christian on the call uh brother are you giving permission to be recorded in this live stream always of course good 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 um yeah. how are you doing i'm good i'm good thank you i hope everybody in the live chat are doing good god bless uh your audience god bless you sister i hope thank you're you, doing brother. okay by god's grace i'm good thank you uh we are um, we are talking about this uh lovely lovely 30 different arabic crowns yes together what do you think well uh, you have a good topic going on here uh, and i'm really uh, enjoying the the live show and if it's okay if uh, i may add something on top of what you said today sure. okay. um maybe if you can put chapter 66 verse 12 66 i at 12 on the screen if that would be possible, because I want to mention something, um, you know, Muslim. Are, are we talking about Hafs Quran? Or which Quran are yeah, we talking Hafs, about? Hafs, 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 Quran. Yeah, Hafs Quran. But also, uh, I'm going to prove to everybody that you know, Muslims always say even if there are variations, it does not change the doctrine. You maybe you have heard it many times, right, sister? That's that even that, if you have. Yes, yeah. but that's not the that's not the point. For yeah. fourteen hundred years. Yeah. Dot by dot, letter by letter, it's all the same, even 21st yeah. century. That's not the yeah. point. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, sorry, brother, I didn't, I get like so annoyed with that stupid statement comes from. Yeah, of course. So, you know, chapter 66, verse 12, yeah, just if you can, sense. yeah, if you can show the Arabic, maybe some people can read Arabic. I don't know if there are people, maybe, maybe I'm the only one today. I don't know. But anyway, if you go to 
chapter 66, ayah 12, so, it says in me, the Hafs version. Yeah? yeah. Let me just let me just give the quick background of chapter 66, verse 12. This is the correct me if I'm wrong. This is when um angel comes and then uh, not angel actually rule of Allah comes and then uh, and anyway I'm not gonna I'll put on yeah. the screen I'll put on the screen. Yeah, if you if you look at the Hafs uh, version this uh, and I think you have the Hafs version on the on the screen maybe right? Yes, I got the Hafs on. The okay, screen. if you can look for uh, uh, his books, do you see the word his books in the ayah? The books of Allah, basically. Do you uh, see that? Chapter uh, 66, six, verse 12. Chapter 66, verse 12. We blow into through our angel. She believed in the words of her Lord and his scriptures. Yeah. So the scripture here is books. The right word should be books, right? So yeah. scriptures. Let's say scriptures. But uh, so this is half Quran. So guys, I hope people who are listening uh, pay attention. The word in the Hafs Quran is wa kutubihi. Wa again wa kutubihi. This is Hafs, so meaning his books, the, the books of Allah. That means the Torah, the Injil, the Zabur, and the Quran, right? So if we go to the Warsh and Qalun, now watch how the doctrine change. The doctrine. Why, you are Christian? Because in the Warsh and Qalun, it says kitabihi wa kitabihi, right? So the Hafs version is talking about all the books of Allah, but the Warsh and Qalun is talking about one book, which is, let's say, the Quran. So here we have a, not a, a change of uh, the word. Here we have a complete difference in doctrine. Did you catch it, sister? Yes, I do have that one. I um, let yeah. me. I'm just trying to find it because I've got. 90,000 variations, so I, I've got to find one, but I just thought actually <laughs> I can find Sorry, I, I thought I can find it in the actually the book. Just give me a second, brother. Yeah, yeah. so the, the Qalun version, uh, while you're searching, the Qalun version and the Warsh version, which are let's say used in parts of Africa, uh, Morocco, they were used the Warsh. Uh, uh, you have Libya, you have Algeria, they maybe use different ones. So the Hafs version is talking about all the books of Allah, but the doctrine changes for people in Morocco who use the Warsh or other parts of the world who use the Qalun. So we have not only change in meaning of the word, but the complete doctrine is changed. And yeah. Muslims say, no, even, even, you know, maybe you have small variations. No, this is not a small variation. This is a huge variation in meaning and doctrine. Did you catch it? Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, Rob Christian, mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. uh, it is very common, please don't take this yeah. personal, sometimes no. it is common that Mus uh, Muslims get to think that you might be Allah since you speak Arabic, because Allah <laughs> because Allah is deceiver, therefore I am sure yeah. they call you deceiver, because they get yeah. confused that you might be Allah. So, yeah, I mean, who knows, yeah. Allahu alam. <laughs> So the book, the book yeah. which I've been trying to advertise for to Muslims, okay, yeah. today, which I'm going through, you can yeah. see it on your screen. This is Surah 66, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can see in here. This is Surah 66, and then you come to um, end of it. You get to see this is the Surah 66, verse 12. Let me read it. Yeah, the in, last ayah, right? Yeah, yeah, let me read it in English. And yeah. then um, I'll point it out from you that people don't think you are Allah, brother. Yeah. So, <laughs> and and Mary, uh, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, and so we breathe into her of our yeah. spirit, and yeah. she believed in her Lord's, yeah. uh, her Sister, Lord's you're words. Sister, a false translation. You know that, right? Uh, no, no. This is the translation which Muslims put together. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's talking about not about. It's talking about the, her private part. So someone, if this is yeah, Jibril it is, or it's Allah, supposed it's supposed to be like Farj. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's but, the word. Yeah, Farjiha, Farjiha. Yeah, yeah. Means, yeah. You know. <laughs> so and anyway, let's 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 put our Christian head on. Yeah. yeah. So in here, yeah. as as those of you who are seeing that on the screen, let me try to make it bigger for all of you. You mm -hmm. will be seeing 
the the word which Rob Christian identifies as his books, his scripture yes. is ident colored as red. Why? Yes. Because Otto is saying there are the differences. And yes. Otto is being very kind and tells us, remember he gave us the name of 30 Arabic Qurans. He tells yes. us in Hafs Quran, um, sorry, except except of except for Hafs, Abu Amir and Yaqub's Quran. Yes. It is, and his scripture. Yes. So it is Did you singular. Catch it? So it you is... have one book versus all the books of Allah. Did you catch it? Yes, and that is in twenty, um, in twenty-seven different Arabic Qurans. It is yes. identified as only one book. Yes. Yet in so here we have Qurans, yeah. it's, uh, proof. It, Exactly. So here we have a difference, not only in, in the word that is different. And Muslims, as you said, they claim for the last 1400 years, not one dot has been changed. Not one letter has been changed. Here we see a change in the letter, in the dot. <laughs> Forget about it. But here we have also a change in the doctrine, because if, it's, if is it talking about one book or is it talking about all the books of Allah? Muslims, please pick your cherries, right? Pick your cherries. <laughs> so, you see? So, this is, of course, um, I didn't go through all of them because I've got like no. over 90,000 variations and it does change the doctrine as well. It's not only change, yes. actually, doctrine. Even yes. in some occasions, it does change the application of Islam. In a sense, exactly. while I've got you here, uh, yeah. you can tell me, uh, what is Lamastum and Lamastum, which is like, do, do, you, do you even understand what I'm trying to pronounce? Uh, you mean touching? Yes. Is that, yes, yeah. yes. So Lamastum. Can, yeah? Yeah. can yeah. you tell me what is the difference between handshake and other way of touching? Yes, the one is basically touch, touching someone, you know, Lamast maybe, or you touch uh, something or someone. And what's the other one? Did you can you repeat it? It, it is the same. With one of them is with the uh, elif. One of them is extra elif. Mm, I I really need to look at it. I can oh. I, you know I'm a I'm kind of guy. If I don't see it with my own eyes, I don't see the difference. I don't want to say something you know without seeing. And I at no, the moment I'm not behind the computer. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That that's yeah. my pronunciation. So, so that's the yeah. um, lamastum in Surah four verse forty three. Uh, yeah. so you some, touch, lamestum, you touch, that's yeah, what it yeah, means. So yeah, so one of them is like touch by like handshake. Yes. Um, those kind of touch. Other one is like sexual touch. And, ah. and then when you read the context of the verse, <laughs> yeah. application, like in one of them you have to do gusu, in yeah. one of them you have to do voodoo. And gusu, yes, gusu exactly. is like yeah. you have like proper bath. And yes, you have to complete. Yeah, Rusul yeah, is the complete bath, and wudu is only a partial. Yeah. Yeah, your it's hand, complete. noise, yeah. ears, those kind of things. Yes. So yes. which which depend which Quran Muslims follow, they have to ap apply that differently. Exactly. Yes, you are right because uh, if you let's say you have a sexual intercourse with a woman, you have to do Rusul. You have to do the complete washing, but the wudu is only partial. So exactly, Muslims, you can. Like our sister, you said, can you please again pick your cherries? And this is an, the, the difference in the action, right? So we, as we mentioned, chapter 66, 12 is difference in doctrine. Here we have difference in action, in application, as you said. Exactly, sister. You're right. And then we do have yeah. other examples where doctrine has been changed as well because of the same word, his words or his word. But um, that's yeah. topic for another time. Yeah, uh, thank maybe you if I can, I can uh, also give other example. Uh, if you uh, and, and this is only the house. Forget about the worship, forget about the Qalun. If you go, for example, to the name and, and I'm talking only about the uh, house sister, only house. You know, Muslim uh, always have always the same, right? Yes. Um, we are gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna do a session on halves where, um, yeah. if it even in one of the musaf like there are different. Yeah, maybe we can do. The, maybe we can do a live show together and we yeah. can show uh, screenshots uh, yeah. for the yeah. halves. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I've got like seven different halves, and yes. even when you just in look at in one halves, you can see 
actually our last grammar and yeah. was very maybe bad. maybe we can give uh, like a, a small you know small spoiler just for one example sure. if we, yeah uh, if we go for example only to house we can see if we go to the, the, to the entire chapter of let's say chapter two yeah. uh, chapter the cow we see the name of Abraham Abraham right Ibra Ibrahim it's spelled without an e so it's spelled like this Ibrahim do you hear it? Ibrahim. But if we go to the rest of the 113 chapters, the same name of Abraham, it's spelled like Ibrahim. So do you see the E? So uh, the in chapter two, the E is missing. The E, so the letter is missing. And if we go to the rest of the 113 chapter, I mean, this is a name, right? Can Allah change his mind, change his, you know, uh, and say, hey, let me, so in chapter two, only in chapter two, I'll write, the name of Abraham without an E, like Ibrahim. And to the rest of the chapters, Allah decides to change Abraham's name to Ibrahim with, and writing it with an E. So this is Hafs. Do you see the damage in Hafs? <laughs> like for uh, what it all tells me that yeah. Allah is failing with his grammar. Allah is failing yes. with his pronunciation. We need to ask Allah to go back to school yeah. and take his, uh, his Arabic exam again because Allah cannot understand that in chapter two he's writing the name i mean it's a name can i write your name differently sister hatun you, your name is hatun can i write it like hatun or should i write it with hatun because that's your name it's a name for god's sake right <laughs> that, that, if this is allah if allah claims to be god okay god cannot make such mistakes right i'm i'm gonna defend allah <laughs> the reason i'm gonna defend allah is because uh, uh, because um, sometimes when I write things, I do I do lots of spelling mistakes, and especially if I've got like no time to. Yeah, but read sister, it. you don't you don't claim to be God, but yeah. Allah claims to be God, right? He's supposed to be like all loving, <laughs> all powerful, all present. Exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, I I don't um, I I think it was Takiyah's comment. I don't think in here in the context. It is just the name changing in here, Takiyavach. Uh, Allah is um, changing the, uh, his spelling. Um, the spelling, yeah, exactly. So is it Abraham with an E in the end? Like Ibrahim for the rest of the 113 chapter? Or should we go with chapter 2 alone, which is spelled like Ibrahim without the E in the end? Ibrahim or Ibrahim? Which one is correct, Muslims? Should we ask Allah to, you know, at least... Pick and choose. I mean, you cannot go and, and make have a cake and eat it to Allah, claiming that you are God, but writing a, a name differently in a, one chapter and the rest of the chapter you write it again differently. So Allah, you claim to be God, then you must be consistent, right? You must be consistent. This is so-called perfect book of Allah. Can Allah make such mistakes, Muslim? Right. Um, can you... Um... What do you do on Fridays around 1.30? 1.30, uh, uh, actually, if maybe it's better, like, let's say... No we, no, we can't change the time because that's the time where Muslims go to prayer. So uh, Allah, okay. Allah, Allah should be available to come to uh Are you Arab saying 1.30 p.m. Uh, UK time? Um, 1.30 p.m. Mecca time. I am expecting Allah Mecca. will be free to come to your Arabic class. <laughs> Sure. Uh, you know, please, if you can, sister, after you're done with the live show, send me a message through Skype so that we can pick a date. Sure. Why not? Yeah, that's that fun. would be a lovely uh, session. That's sure. Um, have you got any other comments to make, brother? Or No, sister. I, I just want to know if Allah can be consistent, right? Muslims claim that he is God, but should God not be at least consistent? That's the question. Thank you for having me, sister. God bless the Thank audience and uh, God bless your ministry. And uh, Looking forward to our live show together. Why not? Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us and your contribution. You. We will see you thank soon. You, God bless you, brother. God bless you too. Bye bye. That was, in a sense, disappointing phone call from Rob Christian. Uh, you would expect when Arabic speaking Christian calls in, you would expect they would stand alongside of Allah, who is all wise and all knowing. But what Rob Christian did was simply just uh, uh used word of allah against allah 
and that's okay for me because we know according to Islamic tradition one day word of Allah is going to argue with Allah on the behalf of those who recited it but it is always heartbreaking when you get to hear that from um, when you get to hear that from um, um, Christians who are help, trying to help out let's go back to the um, our topic on um, 30 different Arabic Qurans which was put together by Muslims let me put the book again so that everyone knows what we are talking about and you can make your life easier even go and get the book can you see how kind and nice person I am I am helping you to publicize Muslim books Um, Takiyavach, I think the um, argument is, let me get rid of this, so the argument is, um, there are different, there are same words um, used in the same um, context, yet they are spelled differently from one another, and Muslim claim is like, Quran is dot by dot, letter by letter is exactly the same. But when even when we look into one Quran, we see uh, there is no like same format has been followed. Uh, we are not talking about oh names of people are being changed. For example, God gave um, from God gave um, Abra name Abra Abraham to Abraham. It's not in that context. In here, uh, the way it has been written. In Arabic, it is different. That's the, that's the issue. But hopefully, once we um, once we uh, arrange and go through that, um, that will helpful to kind of um, together. Uh, let's go back to thirty different Arabic Qurans, and I I am expecting lovely and lovely Muslims to just send me roses, flowers, birds, or bird poison, whatever you have. To just um, say thank you to me for helping you to sell your book and um, helping you to figure out actually yeah there are 30 different Arabic crowns and there are the differences between them Allah made made the mistakes when he saw Muhammad wearing Aisha's clothes and receiving the revelation. And I wouldn't say that's a mistake since Allah is very much involved in the sexual life of Muhammad. It was something Allah was doing that intentionally. I think Allah's biggest mistake is praying and also Allah's other biggest mistake is Surah 17 verse 1 but not much to hope since there are full of mistakes or another biggest mistake Allah did is Surah 4 verse 157 but I want to stuck, stay on the topic of 30 different Arabic Qurans which has been put together by Muslims uh, hello yes ma'am um sir you are on the live stream are you giving permission to be recorded in this live stream yes and who are you? am i giving permission not to be hung up on sorry i'm asking a question too i said am i getting a permission not to be hung up on I don't know. Depend how be, how well you behave, sir. Um, sir, we are talking about thirty. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Ultimate Daddy. Hmm. Yes, so, ma'am. So we've got a Muslim on the f uh, Skype. Can you tell us about these thirty different Arabic Qurans which was put together by Muslim 
and then it tells us the differences um, in Arabic as well as in English. What are you doing about it, sir? Yes, what I'm doing about it is uh, when Allah said that he is the one that revealed the Quran, that he will be protecting it, he had to show us. Allah, which, uh, Allah does not talk in vain. When he's, when he's which, telling which, us Which that, Quran did Allah reveal, sir? I, 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 I can let me answer. Or, or no, you're going to just ask no, me. No, sir, you ask me a sir, question sir, about the third Quran. Quran let which me Quran answer. did Allah send I will it to protect? Know which Quran Allah revealed when, when you let me, if me let me answer. You ask me a question and then you cut me off to answer another question. Sir, let me ask you again. Is, which Quran Allah promised to protect it? Is it Allah's Quran? I will Quran, tell you which Susi's Quran, Quran will be the Quran. Quran. You let me speak. If you let me speak, yes, you will know. Sir, can you answer my question? Thank you. I said, if you let me speak, you will you will know. But you won't let me speak because you know I will prove to you that the Quran, this Quran here, is from Allah. That's which, all you gotta which, say. Which you Quran? ask a question. No, which Quran? You don't tell me the way I'm gonna be answering. I will sir, tell you which Quran is really. Sir, which Quran? <laughs> you, sir, instead of playing you, the victim games on my Skype, no, can you I'm please? Victim, can you please tell me? Can you please tell me? Question. Which Quran did Allah name? promise to uh, you, you, protect? You so I'll show name. you. I'll show you the name of the Qurans. I'll show I, you the I, name I of the, the Qurans of the and then please Quran. tell me. I know the name of every. Sorry, I um, you are breaking up, sir. And I'm about to tell it. I... Sir, you you. I'm sir, just telling you. Sir, you broke up. Can you just no? Can you just every time I call, you don't want to hear it. You gonna, sir? Can you repeat it for me? Yes. Can you repeat it for me? Which uh, I said, there is hundreds of Qurans out there. So There's there are, one there are, that is, yeah, from, there are hundreds of the Qurans out there. Um, yes. thank you for confirming one that. One which one, one of those, Allah which put... one of those Allah is gonna protect? Are you gonna let me speak though? Yes, that that's what I want. for for five minutes. I I I, I want to say because you shut up and let me speak. Simple as that. Okay, so as you can all hear, his internet connection is not very good, as well as he is playing victim games. So let me ask you again: Can you please tell me? You said Allah, there are hundreds of Qurans. Uh, which of the hundred Quran Allah is gonna protect? It could be a million Qurans. Let me answer the question. Yeah, answer Don't the question. Don't play dummy. Thank you. You are, you are ridiculing yourself. Okay, that will be. For I real? think that will be my last chance. I'm giving you, sir. You express there are hundreds of the Qurans. Can you name the name of the Quran? Which Allah is going to protect? There is no one. There is no one Quran that got a name other than the Quran. Do you understand that? There is no Al Duri. There is no Al Al Al, al uh, Hafs and Warsh. Is one Quran is called the Quran. Wh which one There's is that no one? Where is that one? Okay, it's called the Quran. You don't have that one. But that's what I'm about to tell you. Where, where is? Can it? you do that? Where is it? It's right here. I'm where? holding it right here, where? and I'll show it to you. Right. I'm, I, I'm trying you. I, sir, I, I don't know what you are tapping. Sir, I don't let know me. what you are tapping. Let me ask again. What is the name of that one Quran that Allah is going to protect? You hear me? I'm, I'm tapping the Quran. So, simple as that. I will prove. People said just what you said. Open chapter 74 in any Quran, verse verse 13 and up let's go through it I, people said this is but a word of a human being right allah said i will prove to you that this is not a word of a human that, being that's this not my question being. sir that's not my question uh, I, I am afraid i am afraid you are intentionally failing to answer my question let me ask my question again so question muslim muslim, muslim expressed in this book Muslim expressed in the book that there are 30 different Arabic Qurans and then he gives examples. P please listen. Please, please listen. 
and he gives examples of 30% uh, of the variations, uh, which is over 1,000 already minimum. And uh, you express that there are hundreds of the Qurans, and then I ask you, which is that hundred? What million. is the name of it that? Doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, it's million. It doesn't sorry, matter. it is million. Yes, there are millions of the Qurans according to the Muslim caller. Uh, which of them? What is the name Anyone of that Quran, Quran which has been going to be protected by Allah? Yes, Allah will show you how to protect it. If I, 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 I give you, sir, sir, don't play that game with me. Like, no, please, you are please, not playing please, game, please but, but, but for, not, for not letting me talk. <laughs> you, you have got, you <laughs> got 30 talk, options you know, on the screen. Time, you, Can you please pick you one are of them? Um, Miss Trash, you, wait, you are waiting time. You, you, you are wasting time. Okay, thank you for Let calling speak. for us, sir. Um, so, all we heard um, from... Oh, well, this person was, has been calling like so long and there are some not, not very good messages there. Anyway, um, so um, all uh, we, get we got the quick confirmation from Muslims that... Um, We got the confirmation from Muslims that there are first hundred of the Qurans and now there are thousands of the Qurans. And then what we heard from this as well, um, there, there are, I think he said millions of the Qurans, but um, we, couldn't, we couldn't figure out which Quran is Allah going to preserve. Which Quran is Allah going to preserve? So it, it is, I think, good process. Now we get to hear, yes, there are um, there are not only like 30 Qurans, there are hundreds, but we want to know which one Allah said He's gonna protect. I would love to, I would love to, I would love to see that. Um let's go back to chat and see if there is any comment or questions. Okay, oh, I'm so behind of the chat. Let me go at the end and then see if there is any last comments. So um, let me show you the Qurans again. Oh, I need to close this first. Let me show you the name of the Qurans and the dates again once for, for you. So you can get to see them as well as as well as you already got the uh, I think a couple of people already posted um, the link uh, to the PDF. Please, 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 please um, get that link and then look at them and use it. It's supposed to be good, 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 good. Um, let me summarize overall what this book proves for everyone is uh, there are different Arabic Qurans there examples name 30 has been named here with some of the examples um, for the variations and point is in Arabic it is written differently in uh, English, uh, it does change the meaning because it is written differently, sound is different, uh, dot is different, letter is different, pronunciation is different, recitation is different, and meaning is different in Arabic. Therefore, when we put that in English, according to Muslims, it's like I've been saying that since 2016, but according to Muslims now, yes, it is different. It is different, and even like Rob Christian called in, where we saw uh, where we saw um, another example which was making doctoral differences. With that, in all in note, um, let me say once again, 
those Muslims who are trying to justify that how come 30 different Arabic Qurans still mean one Quran? That means how come Ali Al-Qsa plus Hafs plus Kalaf plus Ruh plus um, Warsh makes one Quran? I um, I'm sure you deep down know that actually you are hunting perfect word of God and of course as always um, side note Quran confirms that Jesus is the word of God and real description of the word of God and his person real characters and his amazingness is comes to us from Christian scripture and that wonderful word of God is identified as Lord Jesus Christ and that's the one on the day of judgment those of you who rejected him will be asking the mountains and the rocks to hide you and that's the word of God who was crucified and at the end once again just for you to just attack the Bible doesn't help. You've got to deal with these lovely, lovely 30 different Arabic Qurans. Do your homework and then come up with good answers. Why you end up in 30 different Arabic Qurans as well as which one is going to intercede for you. The one it's going to intercede for you is actually the word of Yahweh, God, man, Lord Jesus Christ. Perfect, perfect perfect and he's delightful while we are here according to sermon of hebrews he is interesting for us that's the one you need dear muslim people and uh, if you are christian and if you do already have the heart of word of god lord jesus christ i pray that uh, your heart continues to incline towards him with that, we will see you tomorrow evening on another live stream. God bless you all.